Uh, this is <coughs> this is the second lecture for topic nine. So in this lecture too, you will learn about the balance scorecard. Okay, uh, balance scorecard is a performance management tool that can be used by a company to to manage performance uh, to increase the performance of the business or the performance of a, a department or division okay this is a tool uh, we can also that it is a method something that you can use balance scorecard is something that you can use to manage the performance of a department or a division or even a company so before this in 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 lecture 1 you have learned about performance measures uh, how to measure performance uh, the thing that you have learned in uh, lecture 1 is to measure performance you can use ROI and RI here in this lecture you will learn about how to manage the performance Balance scorecard is a tool or something that you can use to manage the performance of a division or a department or even a company. Sometimes it is used at at the individual level. You can use balance scorecard to uh, to manage your own performance, your performance in in your in your working. Uh, in your workplace uh, especially okay so let's see what is about the balance scorecard okay balance scorecard is a uh, is uh, related to four factors first uh, it is related to learning and growth uh, if you are a person or a department uh, you have to do learning and growth to increase your performance and then uh, the second factor is internal business process. If you are a, uh, if you have a department to increase that performance, uh, the performance of the department, you have to improve the uh, internal business process. Uh, the third factor is customer. Uh, you have to make customers happy. Uh, and then the number four is financial. If everything is good in that department or division, then the, the department and division will make high profit. Okay. So, let's see how it works. Okay, this is how. Uh, uh, balance scorecard. Uh, this is how balance scorecard uh, shows or explain uh, about the the management of performance okay according to balance scorecard uh, the way to in improve performance of a division or a department or a company is is like this in this slide it has to be started from the below okay the first step to improve the performance uh, of an entity according to balance scorecard is to to increase the learning and growth so it means that if you want to improve the performance of uh, let's say a department first you have to uh, to train your workers to train people so you have uh, ask the workers to learn new skills to improve their the skills that they have already have, uh, and they have to increase the their their skills and ability always. Okay, and then according to balance scorecard, if you can do that, you will get the the next thing in the in the 
in the box the 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 pink box if if your workers if workers in a department uh, can learn and grow uh, the department will get something good internal business process so it means that a good workers can do things better so there, is, there will be an improvement in the business uh, process okay when uh, there is any uh, an improvement in the internal business process the department or the division will get the next thing uh, the yellow box there will be uh, increased customer satisfaction when the process is good uh, the product produced by department will be a good product so customer will happy and they will purchase more and the, uh, when the customer happy the, the next thing that the, the division will get or department will get is the uh, financial uh, uh, an improvement in terms of financial when the products are good the customer are happy you can sell more and then the financial improvement is the department will get higher profit so this is the uh, the way to manage performance if you have to increase the performance of a department or a company so you can use this uh, balance scorecard uh, way the first thing to do is to improve the workers after the workers can be improved in terms of skills etc you you will get the the ping box and the process done within the department will become better and then the next thing is uh, your the the customer of that department or division will happy because they get good product or services and then when the customers are happy the thing that the the division will get is the profit will increase because they can sell more uh, and, and get more profit so that is what this is how balance scorecard shows uh, about how to manage performance Okay, so you can see that to manage performance, uh, according to balance scorecard, to manage performance, it is not only about you ask manager to make profit. Uh, it is started with you have to uh, train your workers, uh, enhance the skill of the workers, and then you will get the next benefit and the next benefit and the next benefit and the last one is the division or department will get more profit okay this strategy um, okay this is the thing that I have tried uh, I have tried to say uh, balance code card shows that you also has uh, you also have to rely on non-financial measures not only profit you have to begin with training the workers improving the process etc so uh, if you apply or use balance scorecard way to to manage performance in a division or a department or even a company then uh, the entire organization should have an overall balance scorecard and also, each individual should have a personal balance scorecard developed according to the company's or organization uh, scorecard. So, this is the logic. If you improve something, another thing will uh, will get will also get the improvement. Like I said earlier, you improve the workers. And then the process will improve and then the customer will happy or customer satisfaction will increase and then the company can make good profit so balance scorecard shows uh, things that are related to the uh, performance okay balance scorecard also can be used to to uh, to assist a company in evaluating a uh, performance
okay uh, many com- companies out there many inter uh, multinational companies uh, in many countries they use balance scorecard so in this example in this slide uh, it shows uh, how uh, balance scorecard uh, is used in jaguar uh, a car maker in uk i think they use uh, balance scorecard uh, to to manage performance okay so So one of the thing that is related to uh, balance scorecard is the use of KPI. Many companies, uh, when a company uh, uses uh, balance scorecard to manage performance, they will set KPI for their workers. Uh, this worker has to achieve this. This worker has to achieve this. Uh, this department has to achieve this. Uh, another department has to achieve something. So the KPIs is actually uh, related uh, uh, is related to the main goal of the business. Okay, this is uh, one example. So this is the end of topic nine. Uh, the, the, there are only two things that I want you to remember about the about uh, balance scorecard. The first thing is you have always to uh, remember that balance scorecard is a uh, performance management tool or method. It means that balance scorecard is something that you can use to help you to increase the performance of a department or a company or a division etc. That's one thing. The second thing is you have to remember the four factors. Uh that are explained in the uh, balance scorecard so these four factors uh, has uh, their their place their specific uh, specific place in the balance scorecard uh, system so it is started by learning and growth and then internal business process and then customer and then financial uh, you have to remember that to in, to increase the performance of a division or department or company you have to start with learning and growth you have to train your workers and then uh, the internal business process will improve and then the customer will happy and then the the, the division or department or company will get uh, higher uh, profit thank you very much the you can communicate with me in the comment section